it can be a frightening sight. A dust wall more than 5,000 feet high sweeping into the city. A haboob is an Arabic term for blow. It, it, it relates to the idea that when these thunderstorms develop, they put often a big gust of air blasting down out of the bottom of the cloud. That blast of air hits the ground and then spreads out. As it does so, in the desert, it picks up dust. And so we get this very impressive wall-like uh, phenomena of dust that literally encroaches into the valley and is a very, very impressive thing to see from uh, either the air or from the ground as, as these things come through. Visibility during these things can drop down to nothing. And the wind speeds in them can be up to uh, as much as 40 to 50 miles an hour and uh, uh, can really cause uh, some damage to small buildings or to trees, small trees, that type of thing. British weather experts define dust storms based on their experiences in the Middle East. A lot of the original terms for dust storm uh, mechanics, the types of things that we see during dust storms, was originally discovered by the British when they were in charge of the Middle East and they used local terms very often to describe these things and so Arabic terms like haboob have kind of gotten applied to dust storm events in general um, although technically uh, they probably should still just be applied to the Middle East they've kind of gotten a wider viewpoint I know some Australians now talk about haboobs and of course we do here in the southwest as well a dust wall is created by the breakdown of thunderstorms in the desert. In the last stages of a thunderstorm, uh, there is a movement through the, through the cloud of air plunging down. It's cold, rain-cooled uh, air that plunges down out of the bottom of the cloud, just like kind of a, a wet water balloon. Now, oftentimes here in the desert, that water will actually evaporate before it hits the ground. So the, all we're left with is the wind. That wind hits the ground and it's kind of like a, a bomb blast. When it hits the bottom of the ground, it spreads out in a circular pass, fashion. In the desert, that circular blast can pick up dust and then carry it into the city. Dust walls are a film favorite. And, and the movies love to, to show them as being uh, deadly. That If you've seen movies like uh, The Mummy, the mummy had one of these haboob walls coming through and it, it uh, apparently killed the people as it, as it moved through. Well, they don't really do that. Or if you saw the movie Hidalgo with, uh, with the horse race across the Middle East, uh, the horse rider was just barely able to outrun the haboob and get into shelter of a building as the haboob came through. Well, you can live through a haboob. You're going to be breathing a lot of dust and you're going to get really, really dirty, but it's just a blast of wind carrying a lot of dust. Servany says a dust storm is an experience and can cause damage. What you're going to feel is a lot of wind. You're going to get plummeted with uh, uh, small particles of sand and dust. And particularly, one of the sad things is that if you have your car, if you're in your car, your car can get sandblasted because basically that wind will take that sand and smash it against your car and knock off paint chips. So a lot of car damage is done as these haboobs come through because they, they will uh, literally sandblast the paint off of some of the older cars in, in the valley. Um, but it's not deadly in that you're going to be suffocated by the wind and the dust. It's just your visibility will be dropped. You'll get uh, sand in your eyes and sand up your nose, but you'll be able to live through it. Keith Jennings, ASU News.